So today I want to show you a fun way to very quickly make a whole bunch of different pins for Pinterest using one of the new Canva AI tools. And this is especially useful if like me, you're a maker and you have like images that are not the right dimension for Pinterest, you know, they're like square or rectangular, or you want to take the same product photo and make a whole bunch of pins out of it. This is a way that you can do that really quickly so that you have a bunch of pins to use. So let me show you exactly how to do this. Okay, so here we are on the Canva front page. We want to go and type in Pinterest pin template. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so from here we have brought up pin templates. We want to try this thing called magic design. So click on insert media and then I've got these earrings that are uploaded or you could upload whatever picture you want. And then what it will do is it will auto create a whole bunch of different pins for you. So here we've got just the default and you can see it's got a whole bunch of different styles and design template and layouts that you could use. So if you like one of these, you can just click through and then edit them, but you can actually edit some of it here. You can change the style. So you've got feminine, clean, minimalist, simple. Let's change it to simple and see what happens. Okay. So there's that. We'll change it to, oh, let's change it to marketing. What does that have to say for itself? And you get a whole bunch of different layouts. You can also change the, the um, color scheme. So there's a whole bunch of different color schemes you could go through here. And you can also change the headline. So like I could just put my URL in there and that'll add that as the headline for each thing. And then you could, again, you can click through and go, okay, I like this one. And then you can customize the template. So you can click through onto that and then you can edit the bit like this bit here that doesn't, you know, make sense. You could have a little pre-written blurb about this particular product and you can then, you know, change these bits as well. And then all you need to do is sh download that and then you can go back and do the next one and do the next one and do the next one and literally just copy and paste those that little extra bit of text whatever it is that you've written about so you have the same picture you have the same text but you have heaps of different layouts basically heaps of different pins that you can use for pinning to Pinterest so it's a way to kind of get around pinning the same product photo over and over again and you create optimized pins that are the right shape and size for the Pinterest algorithm. Now, if you do want to do more with Pinterest and if you are a maker and you have an online business, then I strongly recommend you do because it is a growing platform that lots of people use to shop and to find things they want to buy. Come and join me in the Thriver Circle for the Pinterest challenge. I'll tell you more about it in the description below if you want to come and join us for that. It's a two week challenge where I'm going to encourage you to work consistently growing your Pinterest account. And I'm going to give you a whole bunch of tips and strategies that will help you to do just that. So if you want to come and join us for that, check that out in the description below. Let me know if you experiment with this. Let me know how you make your pins. There's lots of different ways out there that you can make your pins, but this is a nice, quick, easy one that you might not have known about. So I hope you found it helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. I've got another one about Pinterest. I'll leave you right here. It's quick ways to pin from Etsy. So check that one out next. Thanks for watching and bye for now.